Welcome to my channel. You probably already see in the headline. I did go to the 99 cent store after being on a ban from the 99 for a while just because I don't agree with some of the uh, influencers they partner with. I really think that they should do a background check um, on the influencers that they partner with and especially you know if they're putting their name out there just because i think you know um they just need to do that and and, and i was um you know a little upset that they don't do that and you have influencers you know m making or you're showing them on your website and things like that and they happen to be pedophiles so um but i did go uh, after many months as you know that i haven't had a haul and uh, I was shocked, completely shocked. The prices have went up so much. And you guys know me, I'm a large family. I was ready to spend money. This was like the only food item that I found that was 99 cents. Everything, and, and I'm telling you, I can show you receipts because I bought the same items from Walmart with more ounces and at the, for example, something at Walmart for a uh, rotisserie chicken. Actually, I, I had the exact one in my last haul at Walmart. It was um, $3.99, or no, it was $4.99 for 16 ounces of rotisserie, you know, chicken. I forget the name brand, but um, you'll see it in my last haul. And 99 had it for eight ounces, so half the ounces, the exact same price with it expiring in two weeks. That is every single food item that I saw was exactly like that. It was the same price, if not most of them, even more. Even my husband was like, what did they do? All the shampoos, all the body washes that you would get and get a good deal. I am a couponer, okay? So I know exactly the exact prices of shampoo. I study prices at stores. And literally, it is more than what you would pay at a CVS, which everyone knows without a coupon, Walgreens CVS is expensive. It's more expensive than Walmart, Kroger's, Albertsons, whatever grocery store you have, and that's their prices. Their prices are a CVS and a Walgreens price, and they don't take coupons. I am, I, I, I was shocked. This will be the smallest haul that you will have seen for me, and it is my most expensive haul. I got a few items and spent twenty bucks. I mean, it twenty five dollars. It's crazy. Um, so these are the only 99 cent items that we could find, even like the stuff that I've used to haul before that was $1.99. Um, it's for, it, it's literally, if you could go even on Amazon and, and look at the prices, I don't know what they did. I don't know. I mean, it's crazy. You cannot find hardly anything. I think I found three things, um, three things that were 99 cents and I walked down every single aisle. So, um, it's crazy. Even their candies, you know how their cheapy candy used to be? Not, it's not 99 cents anymore. It's ridiculous. Um, these were two of the things I did buy those. Now, this is a product that I, I love from the 99 cent store. Um, it's Soil Love. And they have it in the smaller containers. And that is 99 cents. They have it in the spray bottle. It went up from 99 cents to 199. And now they have this big bottle. Um, my recommendation, this is a good deal. This is worth the 599. So I did pick it up. This will last me forever. I've never seen it in this large one. So if you are at the 99, this is something to pick up. Even their smaller ones, that product really does work. They have this all the time, um, the Clorox. Now, this was, actually, let me make sure because my total is so high. Uh, Clorox, yes. This was 99 cents, so this was also another good deal. So, they did also have a 7th generation um, cleaner that was 199 and the $1.99 for 7th generation is also a good deal. I just didn't pick it up. They do also have some sponges that are $99. Um, 
Um, you can find those from any, um, you can even find them at Dollar Tree, but they have a different variations at the 99 cent store. That is also a good deal. Um, the next item, my son got a toy. Remember, these used to be 99 cents, $1.99, um, Fortnite. And he also got, uh, well, this was 99 cents, Airball Shooter. And it's, um, very, very cheapy, but, you know, the, the dollar stores at any of the dollar stores are, let's see. So, it's a typical toy. And... One ninety nine. These used to be, well, not for the jumbo pack, but the regular um, pack was ninety nine cents. You can find these at Dollar Tree sometimes for ninety nine cents, but now they went up. This is still a good deal. This is two forty six at Walmart, regular price. So you're saving forty six cents or forty seven cents. So this um, was, you know, a little cheaper. This um, was one ninety nine. It's kids mask I thought this was a good deal um for me because um I mean they're the cheapy like the ones that you know but these are kid sizes and they're different colors and I just wanted them um, to put in my I have a bin that's just the mask bin and um for little Frankie because his face is smaller and it's harder I do have them the washable ones but I wanted those as well and then I found this. Surprisingly, this was 99 cents. I thought this was great to have. It's a cocoa butter scar serum for C-sections. But you can use it for any scars. For old and new scars, as you can see. So, yeah, this was a good deal. And then I bought this. Which, these things used to be $2.99, $3.99. Um, but... $6.99 and look at the packaging. Look how nice that looks, okay? Look how beautiful the distress. It looks like it what it's made out of like a clay or you know. I mean Okay, so I'm gonna show you with the light on. And with the light off, it is cute, but it, it is um it's plastic. It's like um you really can't tell in the photo. Let me see. It was it's something worth about three dollars, but I mean I don't know if you can see how cheapy. They do have if you have a Dollar Tree Plus, they have these there. And I think they're two ninety nine or or three dollars. It's half the price of this and they have them at the Dollar Tree. Um, I just so happen to be in a different area, and since I'm not going to the dollar stores as much, um, and there it is, off. I was even thinking, I was so mad, I mean, you guys really can't tell, but it's cheapy cheapy, but anyways, I almost was going to take it back, but, um. I'm just going to keep it because, yeah. I, I don't know what's up with the 99. You 99 haulers. I haven't been watching 99 um, hauls. I just want to show you my receipt. Remember my receipts were long, long. They were like, si some of them were five feet long, six feet long. Because I buy that much stuff. This was my uh, receipt. And this is the location I went to. And, oh, you can even see. I mean... Very few things. I mean, as you can see. So, yeah, crazy. So, you guys are going to have to let me know if this is everyone's stores. Like I said, I haven't been, um, you know, and it was just a personal preference because um, I really, really wish that they would do some kind of um, background. And, and especially if a, if a person's name is common, they would do it in their hometown of New York. They would look at that person in New York because there's, there's a lot of that same name and, and, um, other states and you could easily, um, what the detective said is he found him found, you know, in New York. So I just wish, um, they did that. But anyways, I probably won't be back for a while. This, this is something I really, really like. Highly recommend. This is a good deal. 
and um, if you want to say 50 cents but um, anyways I get the parents choice usually and the parents choice is even cheaper and better than Huggies so yeah sad disappointment um, enough with the 99 I did go to the Dollar Tree because um, I was in an area I took my husband um, out to eat and we were actually and if you guys are from texas you know richardson so there was a 99 or dollar tree there and i wanted to stop i did find these and this is ice cube trays and they're like the fake teeth i thought this was a good deal you can even put um food coloring in with the ice and so i got that and then Frankie um, wanted another skeleton, the glow-in-the-dark skeleton. He absolutely loves playing with this, and he's coming to get it. And you guys are going to have to excuse the background. I am in the middle of moving. We just bought a house, so we are moving. And this is why I bought more paper plates, because I packed all our, our kitchenware. And we're actually supposed to move today, the day that I'm filming this. But um, it's been pushed back till the end of the week so something with uh our name being transferred on the appraisal because basically they had buyers uh that were buying it right before us and it was two younger kids like well 20 22 and they backed out of buying it and then we came in and made an offer and um they sold it to us but the other people were already through the buying process so they got the appraisal and all that that now they had to transfer it. or we paid for uh, the appraisal but they, they sent it but they sent it in their name not our name so anyways it's a huge mess but so I got some more paper plates and then I found this I've always passed this up and then when I wanted it I couldn't find it so basically it is a reusable dry eraser board and um yeah, so I was going to get some alphabet or have my husband print out some alphabet from work. And um, I don't like the the um, Dollar Tree dry eraser markers. <clears throat> so I am going to get him some name brand. And at our Walmart, all of the um, school stuff's on clearance. So I actually may get a few of these later on. But I just wanted one and it came with, with this addition and subtraction which I can use this as well but you can put any papers it's got a folder here so I thought that was a good deal and uh, that's it that is my two store haul I hope you guys enjoyed it my rant is over you guys comment down below I want to hear your comments on what you were thinking about the stores I can tell you Dollar Tree I have went several times um, recently because you guys know I haven't been going to the stores that much and I cannot find the Dollar Tree disinfectant or wipes anymore I, I, I scored one time on two packages of wipes so I want to know if your guys' stores are the same way I have hit up different cities and it's been like that <clears throat> and then also um, I'm in Texas, and I just wanted to know how's your 99 doing. Is it crazy as well? Because it's really, to me, I'm like, well, if you can pay the same price at another store, and the stuff has a, a longer expiration date versus 99, the stuff expires in two weeks, three weeks, one week. Why are you paying the full price? You guys let me know. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do not forget to thumbs up or even thumbs down this video so I can get some interaction and it will help my views out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!